Hey everybody, my name is Matt and I'm back with more tips to help you enjoy the best of the West. In this video, we're going to talk about Glacier National Park, but Cheryl and I have only been to Glacier once. We're actually planning another big vacation there this year. But in order to get you the best information to help you have a good vacation, I reached out and found an extremely talented young lady by the name of Linnea, who has worked in Glacier National Park for eight years as a boat captain. She knows and loves Glacier as much as we know and love Yellowstone and some of the other places that we've covered on our channel. So I am going to turn the time over to Linnea in this video to talk to you about how to visit many Glacier in Glacier National Park. And Linnea will be doing some other videos for us about Glacier as well. Hi everyone. My name is Linnea. We're going to talk about the Grinnell Glacier Trail and the boat tour that you can use to shorten that hike and take in some views from the water. I have lived in Glacier every summer of my life. For the last nine summers, I have been a boat captain in Glacier, so I've given this spiel about the boat tour and Grinnell Glacier hike hundreds if not thousands of times. Many Glacier is an area of Glacier National Park that is very popular because of its scenic views and its hiking opportunities. Some of the best hiking in the park is in Many Glacier. One of the most popular trails in Many Glacier is the Grinnell Glacier Trail. The Grinnell Glacier Trail is a 10.6 mile round trip hike. You gain 1600 feet of elevation gain and you walk through forests, beautiful alpine meadows, through and over glacial moraines until you reach Grinnell Glacier. You get a rare opportunity to get really pretty up close and personal with one of the few glaciers remaining in Glacier National Park. It's an, an incredible hike. It's not easy by any stretch of the imagination. It's hard work, but you're rewarded for your hard work every step of the way with beautiful views, unlike anything you likely have ever seen. If 10.6 miles round trip sounds like a lot of steps of the way, <laughs> even if you are being rewarded, don't worry there is an option to make your hike shorter by using a boat tour. Glacier Park Boat Company has been operating informative scenic boat tours in Glacier National Park since 1938. In many Glacier, the tour begins on the shore of Swift Current Lake. There's a ticket office and boat dock just behind the Many Glacier Hotel on the shore of Swift Current Lake. You board your first boat, the Chief Two Guns, the captain will take you on a tour around the lake. They'll give you informative commentary about history, plants, animals, geology, all sorts of things. They'll give you commentary on the trip. About 15 minutes later, the boat will dock at the head of the lake. You will disembark, walk over a steep, but only about quarter mile hill, 0.2 miles over that hill to Lake Josephine. When you reach Lake Josephine, there's another boat, the Morning Eagle. That boat will be there waiting for you. The captain of the Morning Eagle will again give you informative commentary on that boat ride. At the head of Lake Josephine, the boat will dock and you've got choices at that point. You can either stay on the boat and it'll turn around, take you back the way you came to the Many Glacier Hotel. Or you can choose to leave the boat, go hiking and then come back later in the afternoon. If you choose that second option, if you choose to leave the boat and go for a hike, the captain will give you a return trip ticket and that will be valid to get you back on the boat later in the day to come back. There are various return trip times, uh, 9.45, 11.45, 1.45, 2.45, 3.45, 5.30. If you don't make it back to the boat dock by the 5.30 return trip, you'll have to walk back to the hotel. It's about a two mile walk to get back, it's manageable. Like I said before, you can use this boat tour that I just mentioned to shorten your hike to Grinnell Glacier. With the boat rides out and back, your hike goes from being around 11 miles to being just about seven miles. So you lose four miles of hiking distance if you choose to use the boat tour. If you are interested in hiking to Grinnell Glacier from the boats, the only tours that really matter for you are the ones in the morning. If you'd like to hike to the Grinnell Glacier Trail using the boat tour, you need to make reservations on the 8.30, 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. boat trips. 
the most important words in that last sentence were need and reservations because these are really popular boat tours. They sell out quickly, especially the tours in the morning. There are really minimal tickets available for purchase on a walk-up basis, so it's best if you do this online or over the phone before you come to the park. For the summer 2022 season, adult tickets are $33.25 and child tickets are $17.50. Children under four ride for free. Now, I will explain in detail how all of this works so that you can in turn the information that I just dumped on you into a successful trip to the park. First, you need to make reservations on your boat tour of choice. Again, for the Grinnell Glacier hike, you need to make reservations on a morning boat in Many Glacier. That can be done on the Glacier Park Boat Company website, which is glacierparkboats.com. Or you can do it over the phone by calling the reservation office. It's pretty easy to find on the boat company website. After you have made your reservations, you just need to get yourself to Many Glacier. You need to get there about an hour, at least an hour, before your boat tour so that you've got time to get your backpacks packed up, get organized, use the restroom, find your way down to the boat dock where you need to be at least 15 minutes prior to your tour time. There's no need to be there much earlier than that really, but if you're not at the boat dock 15 minutes prior to the tour time, your ticket could be sold to someone on a wait list and that would be a bummer for your trip. Once you have boarded the boat, your work is finished for about the next 15 minutes. You'll take the trip across Swift Current Lake, the walk over the hill, the ride across Lake Josephine, just like I talked about earlier. This time, when you reach the head of the lake, it is time to get excited because your hike is about to begin. When you reach the head of Lake Josephine, the captain will give a detailed talk about how the return trip process works. So you don't have to worry, they'll explain it all, they'll make sure that you understand how to get back on a boat to be transported home at the end of the day. After you disembark the boat, you've got a 3.6 mile hike up to Grinnell Glacier. Once you arrive, hooray, <laughs> you made it. You can sit there, relax, eat your lunch, take photos, enjoy, but make sure that you turn around and head back down the trail with enough time to make it to the boat dock for that 5.30 departure. The Grinnell Glacier Trail is not your only hiking option from the boats. You can also hike to Grinnell Lake. These are not the same trail. They're separate. If you hike to Grinnell Lake, that's about two miles round trip. It's almost completely flat. Way more mellow and manageable hike than the Grinnell Glacier Trail. You still get incredible views. It's a beautiful walk, but way less effort. And so if you have little kids or your mobility isn't great, then that's a perfect option. Same exact process as with the Grinnell Glacier Trail. You get your boat tickets, you ride the boats, you get off the boat, you hike, you come back later in the day. From the Grinnell Glacier Trail, you can see Grinnell Lake. So if you hike up to the glacier instead of the lake, you're not missing anything. From Grinnell Lake, you've got views of Grinnell Falls, a huge waterfall that comes down from the glacier. You've got panoramic like cliffs all around you. It's beautiful. You do not, however, see Grinnell Glacier from Grinnell Lake. That's the major difference. Grinnell Lake, you stay on the valley floor. Grinnell Glacier, you climb way up high. Again, the Grinnell Lake Trail is two miles round trip if you use the boats. Without the boats, it's about seven miles round trip, 5.30 again is the last return trip of the day. Now, if you arrive there at 5.30 and the boat is full, it's okay. The, the captain will do as many trips up and down the lake that is necessary to get everyone from the beach back to the hotel. Sometimes it takes four trips, sometimes it takes only one, but as long as you are at the boat dock at 5.30, you will not be left behind. If you're sick of boats by then, you can walk back, it's fine. It's two miles from that boat dock back to the hotel in the middle of the summer, it doesn't really get dark until just about 10 o'clock at night. So you've got plenty of time, plenty of daylight. Alternatively to the previous option where you ride the boat out and back, you can elect to only ride the boat back one way after your hike. If you choose that option, you need to purchase a one-way round, sorry, a one-way return trip ticket. 
This can be done online in advance, just like the round trip ticket, or there will be, maybe, depending on availability, some tickets available for purchase day of at the ticket office by the boat dock. Don't count on that, but it's possible. The way that this works is that before you hike, you'll stop at the ticket office, pick up that return trip ticket, head out on your hike, enjoy the day, and again, you just need to make it back down to the boat dock by that 5.30 return time, or you can choose one of the earlier return times in the day, 9.45, 11.45, 1.45, 2.45, or 3.45, if the 5.30 doesn't work for you. You don't have to memorize all those numbers that I just said, all those times they're posted all over the place by the boat docks, they'll be written on your ticket, you don't have to worry, just giving you all the information now so that you have it can sort of visualize how your day will go. These one-way trip tickets are $17.50 for adults and $8.75 for kids, so just about half price. Children under four, once again, are free. This is a great option if you are a pretty avid hiker and you don't think you need all four of the miles cut off or if you'd like to save some money or if you, if you can't get reservations on a morning boat but you can get reservations for a one-way trip back, relaxing on the boat for two miles total is better than relaxing on the boat for no miles total, even if the best option might be four miles being cut off from your hike. So the one-way return trip tickets are a great opportunity. You can reference the Glacier National Park webpage for information, you can reference the Glacier Park Boat Company website for information, and you can access um, an article on We're in the Rockies where I wrote in detail all about what I just talked to you about. So you can read it too, if that kind of information is more valuable for you. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if this was helpful. Happy planning, and I hope you all have a great trip to the park.